The card arts on this are just completely wasted time. You red red with no rare candies? That's just a bunch of speed up and grinding. The, the experience gain in it is too high to even like do that and like expect it to be a challenge or anything. It doesn't really increase the difficulty at all. Um so what encounters? I could do all the surfing encounters. Oh, uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Another episode of Pokemon Radical Red. Woo! Uh, we're healed up. Let's lead with... Let's just lead with you. Can I just avoid some people? Um, I, did I fish over here? I don't think I did. Vanillix. Did I fish up a Vanillix here? Route 19. Um, my vanilla looks dead. There he is. Uh, hatched in Celadon City. Okay, so no, this is not my encounter. All right, so we haven't done Route 19. So right off the bat, we can... Can you deck snap encounters in the water? Uh, Trico, Clang, Entei. Um, no offense, but I think I want Enta. Let me see how this works. You can! Let's go! Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, baby. I don't know why. I feel like this scene on the water looks kind of odd in this game. Looks a little odd, not gonna lie. Say it like you mean it. Welcome back. Well, back to another episode. Blah, 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 blah. It was very weird recording live. Not gonna lie. Oh, by the way, yeah. Um, Three months later, we're still still doing subathon. Still doing subathon. Darnold? You want to be named Darnold? Sure. Darnold. Let's see what you're working with. Where'd you go, Darnold? What you got? What you got? Sand spit. Honestly, because I'm going into a fire gym, that could be valuable. Um in a very niche way. All right, Route 20. Let's see what we got here. Exploud. Hisuian Quillfish Togepi. The content? The content? Togekiss? Do we bother? I really want to go Hisuian Quillfish. I'm going Hisuian Quillfish. I'm sorry. It's too, it's too early for the content. It's too early for the content. I need the Hisuian Quillfish. I need... I need... This is one of the Pokemon that's like a huge... Huge help for uh, the Mewtwo battle uh, later on. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play it safe. I gotta play it safe. What do we name the Quillfish? Next Togepi, I see. I'm catching it. Okay. Sorry guys. Sorry, I'm lying to you. All. I said I needed it for the content. How about just name this content? Content. Look at that for the content. I spoiled the Mewtwo battle. Spoilers. Spoilers. There's a Mewtwo battle. A Dreadnought. I did not know Dreadnought had a, had a thing in this. I'm going to be honest. I really don't think I knew that. Um, I really don't know if I want to do this battle. I really don't know if I want to do that. Uh, Dexnav. Ampharos. Oh. <gasps> my boy was he good late game for anything when i was doing my mono sand slash run was there a battle that i used him that he was extremely good in i don't remember but there is a lit in here and incineroar is far better all the starters wow um also ampharos could be an option because i was low on electric types i have electivire and Jolteon, and that is it. So I could go Ampharos. Um, for fire types, I got Voltres, Anakin. I just got an Entei. Um, I am still not crazy on fire types either, though. Um, what about dark types? I got Hydreigon. I got Evil. I got. The Hisuian Quillfish. Sweet Samurai. 
Fire dark. Do I want fire dark typing? It's so good. But if he doesn't have an, a, the ability to intimidate, it doesn't make him as crazy. Zep striker? Zep striker. I do have a Zep striker. For electric types, I do generally like faster Pokemon. Ampharos does have a Mega, though. Electric Dragon Ampharos goes kind of crazy. But Incineroar is so good. And it gets like knockoff and stuff like that. So. Uh, all right. All right. We all know this is Rose's favorite Pokemon. So I'm going to name it Rose. Um, yep. All right, Rose. Favorite. Two faves. Um, so this battle with this dude, I, I got to look up his team. I don't know if I want to do it. What do you get from him? Um, Johto leaders. You. Permanent snow with an ice team. You have focus ash, dry skin, jinx as a lead. Oyster with Skill Link, Shell Smash, White Herb, Ball Rain with Fur Coat, Blech. Toxic, Rest, Sleep Talk, Ice Beam. So a Steel type walls that. Um, a Water Flying would, eh, not really. Excalibur is kind of a beast. Thermal Exchange. End run? No, Rose, no. Uh, I don't know. What do you get from him? I forget what you get. I think you get like, a choice scarf from him. Or the choice band? I forget which one. Because I think you get the other one from Cinnabar Island. Quick rest, quick rest. I didn't think I did any battles, but whatevs. Um, go down this way. Kingler thing. Yep. For some reason, I always remember that's where the Kingler Mega Stone is. I don't know why. Do I just go straight to the city from here? No other routes. Yep. Cinnabar Island. Okay. This stays Cinnabar Island. So let's see what's here. Oh. <gasps> Uh, Hippo, Oranguru. I'm not going to count the... You get an egg here, right? You get an egg here. You get something here, do you not? Teach sick moves. Oh, damn. you! Oh, shoot. You do teach some sick moves. Hey, buddy. Wait, what do you say? Colleague says the stones corresponding to certain legendary Pokemon, but I'm unsure which ones to be referring to. I don't know which one you're referring to. Might be the Latias. Latias. We switched the Volley's form. Looking for a Hatterene, trade for a Grimmsnarl. Nah, I'm good. What do you do, bud? Oh, thanks. Good information. Um, yeah, I got the, the mansion battle. You are right. Aegis Slash for a Mimikyu. No, thank you. Found a cool fossil. Good for you. Okay. <coughs> this, this is actually a shop. It is. Lumberries are kind of nice. Could buy a bunch of those. Uh, let's prep for this battle. Let's prep for this rival battle. Um, This is May in Cinnabar Island. Okay. All right. Soul Rock. Levitate. Focus Sash. Lead. From Breloom. Poison Heal, Toxic Orb, Focus Punch, Rock Slide, Sub Spore, Toxic. Manetric, Lightning Rod, Choice Specs, Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Overheat, Switcheroo, Switcheroo. Yeah, I'd be careful with that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. The Choice Specs, Switcheroo, that could be wild. Uh, Flygon Walls, Manetric, though. So, Flygon definitely shows up. Uh, Relicanth, Choice Banded, Waterfall, Head Smash, Earthquake, Zen, Headbutt. Um, I 
even with you know what I think I can't bring fluffy can't bring fluffy Gly score I was gonna say for the blaziken but he has flare blitz and fluffy is weak to fire rad red Billy we're on it we're on radical red this is for the YouTube I'm a little terrified of this battle though not gonna lie um so you can't spore me by using Moongus. The liquid voice. I don't think you can benefit from that at all. Um, I could just clear a smog spam or just use a poison move to break through that. Um, sticky webs could be nice because um, these Pokemon do benefit from speed quite a lot. Flygon is not levitate, he's tinted lens. Speed boost Blaziken is always an issue. Hmm. I gotta like remember what my abilities are on these guys. Um, do I need stealth rocks? Not really. I mean, the only thing that's focus ash is the lead. Honestly, I need a rapid spinner lead. That'd be ideal. Um. Fur coat. Okay, you're pretty good. You could be good for the Relicant. If I could switch it in on a waterfall, you could take that pretty well. Celebi with contrary. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what we got. Oh no, the fart guy followed. Oh no. Oh no. This is tough. This is a little tough. Uh May at the mansion is where we're going. What up, purple? How you doing? I'm trying to fight May at the mansion. Is there a setup I could do on this and sweep? I feel like Flygon, my own Flygon definitely could. Um, if I set up sticky webs on the soul rock, I have to get this in on probably Manetric. So what I probably want to do is lead with you. I lead with you. I'm immune to fire with this guy. It's just actually kind of crazy. I forget about that. Uh, if I lead with this guy, I'm probably going to bait in potentially Breloom or Manetric. Those are the only two that would probably come in. Because Breloom, Spore, Focus Punch, he could do all that. Uh, do I outspeed Breloom? Let me see what my level cap is right now. Uh, oh, I think I needed to get rare candies. I did. Well, let me just see where we're at. We're at 73. Okay, let's let's check real quick. Uh, where is the damage calculator? Samurai, Sui. I feel like they changed Breloom's speed in this game. Nah, he's only 70. So at 71, I'm assuming they made him plus speed nature. Jolly. Um, I outspeed you with no speed investment. So you probably don't go into him then. If I outspeed you and I run... What could I run? Uh, do I get like air slash or something? I feel like I do. I do. I run air slash over... What would I need? Aqua Jet would probably be clutch against the Blaziken. Sacred Sword, potentially Relicant. Um, Give it a raise the shell. I think if I lead with this, I Ceaseless Edge on his potential Stealth Rocks. And then I could Aqua Jet and get the kill. I think he has to go Manetric and click. Uh, an electric move. I highly doubt he switch a ruse. I could just run no item. Bait that electric move going to you. And I think if I get a dragon dance up, I sweep. I think so. Flag on. Level 73. Um, adamant. 
plus one attack, plus one speed with Earthquake, Dragon Claw. Um, I need something to kill the Breloom. We can like dual wing beat. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill a couple Pokemon though, to be honest. Um, I also got the plus two. Straight up wing attack. Wing attack would kill him, but I already know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to kill a uh, Relicanth. Relicanth is a tank. Earthquake. Actually, Earthquake has a chance to kill. Oh, and I'll have I'll have spikes up. If that's the case, then I definitely just sweep. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's get rid of protect. Go right here. Thank you, Adamant. I'm just gonna try it. It's a two-man game. Headlong rush. No, thank you. It's a two-man game, and I think it's going to be an easy-peasy. I know, like, a lot of these battles with the rivals, you can sweep. Like, without, like, too much preparation. Make you plus defense. Minus special attack. Let's see if this works. Peter, how you doing? How you doing? We are doing a recording for Radical Red uh, for my YouTube. Uh, we're doing it live because I am imprisoned on my stream and I love every minute of it um there's no way a blaziken a plus one mega blaziken I'm, I'm just gonna outspeed and kill I don't even have to think about it I'm not even thinking about it I'm not even thinking about it I got this I got this this is a win this is a win got the coverage we're gonna well, this is gonna go exactly as I expected to okay you guys ready the only thing I didn't prep for is if I miss Ceaseless Edge, what happens? Stealth Rocks, fine. Land Ceaseless Edge, nice. Nice. Big damage. And now, if I did that much with Ceaseless Edge, there's no way Aqua Jet's gonna kill, right? I'm gonna risk it, why not? He's gonna click Explosion no matter what, so. Either I kill or I don't. I did. Nice. I saved my HP on Julian. I'm assuming he goes Manetric and Bolt Switches. He goes Flygon. He has no setup. The strongest thing you can do is Outrage or Draco Meteor. I believe Hasui and Samurott's not getting one shot by anything. I believe. I have faith. He's not one shot me with the Draco. Starters are too bulky. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way. Miss Ceaseless Edge. Nice. Yeah. Alright, minus one Draco. Now we're now we're in now we're in a little bit of a pickle. Because he still could click. He's probably gonna click Earthquake here. Um and he does have outrage. I didn't plan for that whole scenario. You know what I mean? Missing that ceaseless edge kind of sucks. Um, a little bit. Um, hmm. He probably, he's got to click Earthquake here. There's no way he clicks anything else. And my team is not great against Earthquake. Um... I don't need HP on Crichton. I could take an Earthquake. There's no way he clicks Outrage here. If he does, I lose. It's Earthquake. Okay. Okay, so we take this Earthquake. Not too well, um, to be fair. Um, and now I have to pray that I call this correctly. Or if not, Clefki's dead. Which 
Draco. Okay. Now an earthquake's coming out here, and I think I die. But I don't think I can really do anything else about that, honestly. Something dies to earthquake right now. So. What do I even do after this? I'm going to be honest. This flag on? A bit of an issue. Um... I think I just die right here. This is a non-contact move, so my fluffy doesn't matter. Unless this game doesn't calc it correctly and it gives me the fluffy. Nope, dead. Um, Stella, can you live it? If I just landed that ceaseless edge, man. I'd be in a much better situation. <clears throat> I don't know if I live a flag on Earthquake. Blissey's a tank. You'd think it might. Blissey lives everything almost, right? Could have saved my Clefki. Plus he lives everything. Okay. Well, couple issues here. Um, if he goes Blaziken right now, I think I lose. I think I lose. Um, I mean, if I lose Blissey, I lose the run. If I lose Kryon, I lose this battle, aka the run. Um, it's no shot he sword stances here. He might sword stance here. If he sword stances here, I think I lose it anyway. He might though. Might. I think if they see the kill, they take the kill. They won't sword stance. Like, they don't get greedy. Pretty sure he's just going to take the kill. Goes with Flare Blitz. Okay. But I really couldn't risk that. Because if I didn't Toxic right there, any sword stance plus got the speed boost, I 100% lost the game. Like, it was even. There's no question. Um, And now we go Stonks. Because if he wants to get a KO, he's going to have to close combat me. Which should kill. Um, yep. Get the attack. Get the defense drops. This is, our, this is very unfortunate. This is how I had to go about this. I'm going to be honest. Very unfortunate. But I could still win this battle and not wipe. Very easily. Very easily. <laughs> trying to figure out how that's going to happen. Um, it's going to require a lot of death on my part. Um, Flare Blitzes. This definitely kills me. I'm a Jolteon. Ah, uh, you know what, though? Big recoil. I have to try for this. We have to try for this. We're front paging. We're front paging. We gotta try for the Aqua Jet kill. We got it. Okay. That worked out exactly as I expected to. Didn't work out well, but it worked out how I expected it to. And now, this is where the sweep happens. Because he's going to Volt Switch here. Because they are addicted to Volt Switching. Or Thunderbolting. That's fine. And now, we Dragon Dance. And we don't die. You hard switch into what? Into what, buddy? Relicanth? Laughable. Laughable. Get that Dragon Dance, Crayon. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. I was never worried. Never even worried. Not even for a little bit. Except for the fact I don't remember if I checked if I was adamant. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yep. GG's. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine.
fine. I'm not worried a little bit. We have so many extra Pokemon in the box. This is just for the content. You know, I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying. Wing attack, get him out of here. Get him out. Gonzo. What else you got, buddy? What else you got? Manetra coming back? Oh, yeah? Get him up. Can't believe you didn't wipe. Even with zero prep. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, one third prep. So I prepped two Pokemon for this battle. Even with that, Soul Pokemon Master, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. I mean, granted, we did let a lot of Pokemon die just now for pretty much no reason. Um, but that's okay. That's okay, right? That's okay. We kept Flygon alive. We lost Blissey, though, which is like... Ugh. Oof. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, but we get an encounter in this next building. We're fine. We're fine. I had to do every single thing that happened to get out of that alive. Because he did the unorthodox thing of going to Flygon. I should have ran ice coverage. I actually kept that. I thought about that when I was prepping, but I was like, let me just bring the flying coverage. So I was like, if I got water attacks for the Flygon, he doesn't hit me super effectively. Why would he go into it? Like, usually, like, that's something that, like, people who play this game a lot more than me, that they know is how the AI makes their decisions and the like so they know for a fact how to bait out certain pokemon uh didn't samurai survive uh oh it did actually it did i forgot i switched that out <laughs> i almost put him in the box i almost put him in the box all right um let's bring you out i'm just gonna put some mons on the team just to get some space in the box Just to get some space in the box. There we go. Oof, there we go. Yeah, Samurai did live. I thought I forgot. Like I thought I stacked him, but then I forgot he went into the Manetric. I had like two HP, and then I switched him out. Oh baby, Tracy, thank you for the follow. Oh come on in. Um. Oh, well, let's uh let's see what Pokemon are in here. Sandy Shocks, really good Mon. Lucario's really good. Fighting Steel is actually nice. Uh, Venusaur is an option too. Alligator. Oh man, Young Goose. Uh, Tapu Koko. Mew. Salamence. Okay, hold on, hold on. Couple options here. Couple options here. Uh, what did we just lose? We just lost a Jolteon. We lost Klefki. So we lost an Electric and a Fairy. Water Steel, but I have so many Water Types. I'm not even worried about losing a Water Type. Honestly, we got some really good ones. I do have a Raging Gigas too. Kind of crazy. I didn't even evolve you or the other guy to figure out what we had. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Um, I mean, for electric types, I have you and you. I lost Jolteon. I think we're on top of Coco. Go, Coco. Get it, baby. Oh boy. All right. I mean, if you have a, I still have a couple mons that are like, you know, Flygon, Regigigas, uh, Kamoo. We got a lot of mons that can still put in a lot of work. So I think we'll be, I think we'll be all right. I think we can still pull it off. What are we naming the top of Coco? What are we naming it? El Marco, Tropicana. Mm. Page. <laughs> page, because we're on front page. Front page, front page. We're front paging, we're front paging. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, let me. Man, I don't know how long this episode's been. I don't know how long I started, like when I started recording this. Um. All right, I 
think because we just got that's the only encounter i think i have left i'm gonna run through that building it won't take long to like get the items i'm gonna have to do the entire blaine gym pretty much in one sitting that's what i'm gonna try doing so this is probably gonna be a short episode i really don't know where it was when i started recording this um but we will do the whole blaine gym in the next one and try to put together a good squad for it so see you guys then and you guys on kick are not gonna ever stop seeing me because i'm gonna be here forever <laughs>